Okay, team building. On this side of the room, Stanley, Phyllis, Jim, Ted, Elroy. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for me. And of course, let's get started. Uh, today I'm working on the 2004 Saturn Ion, and I'm just replacing the hood latch cable for this car. It's a simple job, but I noticed that there's no other video on YouTube uh, showing how to do this repair. So I decided to do it for you guys. All right, if you take a look over here, underneath the car, underneath the dash. All right, guys, this is the lever right here. You pull on this lever, this pulls on the uh, cable that basically unlocks the hood latch so you can open up the hood. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, cable for this is extremely stretched out. And it's just a matter of time before um, I can't open the hood anymore because the cable cannot pull the mechanism to unlock it. Um, if you take a look over here, let me see if I can get some light in here. All right, guys, if you take a look over here, this is the, uh, the cable that goes all the way to that lever that is underneath my dash. Basically, when you pull on that lever, that, this, um, that will pull the cable, which will pull this bracket, which will unlock uh, the hood. Unfortunately, uh, the cable stretched so much. All right, guys, that being said, we're going to go ahead and replace this cable because it's just a matter of time before this cable no longer uh, functions which means this cable will no longer push this mechanism, which of course will unlock your hood. So eventually you're gonna have to, so eventually you're gonna struggle opening your hood. Uh, so today we're gonna replace that cable. So in order to remove the cable, first of all, you're just gonna slip your finger in here. This metal bracket right here that catches the end of this cable has a little slot in at this, at this side right here where my finger is pointing that you can slide the cable through to un unhook it there's also a bracket here that holds the um the rubber piece for the cable you actually want to push it down it slides right out and there you go this is the end of the cable now this cable goes through this opening right here it pops out right here and it goes it snakes right under all these uh brake lines and all that and then uh, over here um, let me see if i can show you it's basically <laughs> in the firewall in there if you can see it all the way down there in the firewall it, it goes through there it goes through a rubber grommet goes in the car and then basically comes out right over here you see the cable we need to figure out how to remove this one now i believe these are supposed to just slide out and when you install the new one you just slide it in because if you take a look over here in the in, in this corner it looks exactly as I described it. It looks like it just clips in and clips out by sliding in and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can manhandle it out. Also, I forgot to mention, you have to remove this side splash guard that goes right here. It's uh, right here. Basically, it just held up by clips. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I removed the uh, lever from the body of the vehicle. Now, basically, it's, simple. it's just really simple. I'm just gonna put it back for a second. Basically, you have it like this. Just get yourself a screwdriver and kind of like work work it or pop it out this way. Just be very careful because uh, this um, this bracket right here that is welded to the vehicle is pretty thin, so you don't want to bend it out of place. But now it's free. So now both sides are free. I can just go ahead and pull it to uh, remove it completely. But I kind of don't want to do that because I think it's going to be difficult to get the new cable through the firewall because you don't have that much room to slip your hand in. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to get the new cable, which is this right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tape it to the end of the old one. So when the old one's being pulled towards the firewall, it's going to basically pull in the new one at the same time, making it, making it easy to snake it through. Uh, so I don't have to deal with slipping my hand in there and getting all tangled up. Now, as I was talking about this, I kind of gave me an idea. Instead of pushing, uh, tying, tying the new cable to the old cable and pushing it this way, I'm thinking, because if you take a look at it, the straight one looks easier to pull because it has a smaller diameter. Um, I'm thinking maybe I should put it this way, pull it this way. I'm going to cut the uh, handle off, just have the, the, the bare cable and I'm gonna snake the new cable through this way. I think that's way easier to do. All right guys, so I went ahead and connected the new cable with the old cable. I just basically used some electrical tape. I made it nice and tight. Uh, basically the goal here is to pull the cable from the um, engine bay to pull it out. And that's basically gonna drag in the new cable and replace it. So I don't have to do that crazy snaking it. 
because if you take a look over here, not only you have rug, you have this plastic, I guess a sound dampening foam here. Now just keep in mind the hole uh, in the firewall has like this uh, rubber grommet. I did manage to pull it out. If you take a look at it, this is the old one right here. Uh, basically the new cable does have a new grommet. If you take a look at it, it's right here. So it is facing the correct direction. All right guys, update. So I managed to get the cable through the firewall. Basically I changed my uh, design. So basically I removed the uh, plastic or rubber hose and I just used the bare cable itself just because it's very thin and I managed to get it through the wall. Uh, so now this side is complete. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and snake it through the way the original one was, uh, through over here behind the headlights and into its uh, position. So I got the cable snake through all this mess. It came out of this hole, is around, and is back to its original position. So we're gonna go ahead and put it in. So I went ahead and just kind of like snaked it in roughly. Now I need to get this metal ball on this side and the uh, I need to get the cable in between this bracket. So I'm just gonna do it real quick. I'm just gonna use a Neo nose pliers. All right, looks like it's hard to install it. So I'm just gonna remove this plastic cover that's here. This plastic cover right gone. So now I have access to the bottom. So I can just simply put it through just like that. All right, perfect. So now, if you take a, look up, take a look at this side right here, you have a little hook. This is where you're gonna put this part right here, this little gap into this, and then you should be all set. Just make sure that your uh, cable is lined up, and it is. Uh, put it in a thing. Uh, just put it in, and make sure it's all the way. Perfect. Basically how it works is when you pull the lever, this ball right here is gonna push this way, which is gonna pull this bracket. This bracket is then it's gonna go ahead and release the hood. Simple design, simple job, easy. All right, I forgot to mention, there's a little metal hook right here that holds onto the cable. So you just wanna go ahead and tuck it in. Just like that. All right guys, as for this, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, lever first. I'm just gonna attach it to the car. And then I'm gonna go ahead and run the cable just because the cable is on this side. So I think I have enough room uh, to, to install it. I think that's way more easier than, do, than putting the cable first and then installing the lever. All right, there we go. And the lever does have like two little like clips that acts like a locking mechanism. So when you slide it in, it's gonna click on both sides. All right, and I got the uh, cable installed. Basically you have the metal cable attached to the handle and then you have the rubber hose attached to this uh, bracket right here. And basically when we pull it, the only thing that's supposed to be moving is the steel cable. All right guys, and before you close the hood, make sure that this side is all set again. Uh, by pulling the handle, just uh, double check this, make sure that it stays in place and everything looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the hood now. All right, so I went ahead and closed the hood. Now, hopefully it opens. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it. Perfect, beautiful. And basically we finished the installation. Everything came out nice. As I mentioned, um, do not try to snake the cable yourself through that little hole. You're gonna take forever. Use the old cable, use the steel cable and tape it up with the new one and then just pull it, snaking it through. It's way easier. If not, you're gonna spend about two hours doing it by hand and kind of fishing your way around the car. So trust me, tape it up with the old one and just pull it, you should be fine. All right guys, so I'm gonna end the video here. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. It does help out the channel. All right guys, have a good one, bye-bye.